put this here. Oh. Number seven. Number eight is asking us now, um, provide the reagents necessary to carry the following conversion. So I can't really actually see this question here. This question is a lot harder to see. Um, I believe it's number eight or number nine here. Yeah, number eight here. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can draw this out. So it says, I'm, go I'm going from a benzene group. So this is a five part question here. So I might actually have to, um, I might just look at the solution again uh, for the sake of time and just to work this out. Cause again, this is five questions here, but let me see, let me, let me, let me see if we can draw out the first one for you as well. It's my benzene group and I want it to become a benzene group with a isopropyl on the uh, on carbon one and then um, a propyl group here. So um, this here is good. They're using a Friedel's craft acylation to grab to get my um, to get my isopropyl group here, and then uh, another Friedel's craft. Um, uh, sorry, alkylation. Forget the first group, and the acylation to get my second group. I don't know if it actually bonds um, uh, para to the benzene, so I might have to. Uh, I'm gonna look at the solution here, and as you can see, uh, it's all benzene. Oh, so these are all reactions of the benzene. So this is actually pretty good. Um, so what they're doing here is again, I have. Uh, they forgot this Cl group here because again, uh, this is a Friedel's craft acylation group. I'll, I'll bond. Uh, so this will go go uh, isopropyl. So again, I have a kind of an isopropyl group here or chloroisopropyl here and, and but uh, reacting with alcl3 so very, very common friedel's craft acylation uh reagent here and then i'm going to get uh this first part here which is great and then finally our uh, this, sorry this is the first part is the friedel's craft alkylation and this here is the acylation right i have the um double bond o carbonyl group with a cl with NaCl with alcl it's going to bond para to the benzene here and then finally i'm going to use a uh, reduction reagent to uh which is this uh z uh, zinc mercury um kind of reagent here it's going to reduce this carbonyl group into uh back into just an alkane group so this solution here is correct uh the first one here is good right so again basically when we're, when we're looking at these solutions here i'm looking at how do i make the top part how do I make the bottom part and how do I get rid of the uh, stuff on the bottom part here? So you can basically do something like uh, you can basically use a retrosynthesis to think about this problem here. Again, when we're talking about the benzene groups, every time we have a, have more carbons on the benzene group here, we're thinking of a Friedel's craft acylation or an alkylation, depending on how um, uh, geometrically, how uh, which one is more preferred here. So first solution, first, first solution here is correct. Second solution, I want a benzene, and this here is an ethyl group on one and a bromine group on two. So again, we can, again, do a Friedel's craft uh, alkylation to get my uh, ethyl group into the, uh, the uh, car on carbon one. So the solution here is correct. And then finally, what I'm going uh, to do here is if I want to get my bromine group here, um, I have to do another step. I'm going to have to basically protect my benzene group, right? If I added Br2, FeBr3 and two, into um, this first guy. So let me draw that out for you because this here this here might get a little bit confusing. So if I were to, again, I'm doing my Friedel's craft al acylation here. Oh, sorry, alkylation. I don't know why I keep saying acylation. AlCl3 here. It's going to bond, this is a three. This is going to bond um, to carbon one, obviously. And that's no mistake about it. So this here is my ethyl group here. But if I were to react this with Br2, FeBr3, Fe, Fe2, Br, or sorry, FeBr3 here, I'm actually going to get a bromine group that's para, para to, uh, para to, to the, uh, the ethyl group here. It's going to bond to the opposite group. And why that is, is because it doesn't actually like, uh, being in the, um, in the ortho, uh, in the ortho position because of the, uh, ethyl group because of stair kindreds here. It's going to bond, obviously the most, it's going to create the most space here. So if I, if I, if I were to bond the bromine here, it's not going to actually bond a carbon two. It's going to bond at carbon four here, the, uh, the para position here. So in order for us to bond uh, force it to go, uh, go uh, ortho here we wanted to uh, protect this group here so they're using this uh, blockage group here this nitrate <clears throat> this um, nitric acid we're using nitric acid to create a protecting group um, on the um, 
in the in the pair position. So you get NO2 here, and then you can do Br FeBr3 to bond it to uh, the uh, the ortho position here. And finally, if I were to get rid of the protectant group, I'm using <clears throat> tin hydrochloric acid, um, sodium amide, and also um, uh, H3PO2 is uh, uh, phosphor phosphorus acid. Phosphoric, phosphorous acid, yes, correct, um, in order for me to get rid of the NO2 here. So this solution here is, again, correct. Number eight is asking, or C is asking us, <clears throat> I have benzene group. I want to make a carboxylic acid at the top and a chlorine group at the bottom. So exactly the same thing here. What I want to do is, again, uh, I can free those crafts, uh, alkylate, alkylation to get, my, uh, to get toluene here, which is simply a methyl group bond to the benzene. Um, and again, uh, Cl2 here. And FeCl3 here will bond in terms of the para position, which is good because I want something in the para position. I want Cl here. Again, I don't need my blocking group, uh, protection group here because I don't want it to be uh, in the ortho position. And then finally, I'm going to basically oxidize this all the way to a carboxylic acid using a very, very strong, um, strong uh, oxidization oxidation agent, so KMnO4, potassium permanganate, and uh, uh, with uh, potassium hydroxide here. It's going to get my carboxylic acid at the top here. And this solution will uh, will be correct. Um, what you could do as well with this uh, synthesis chart here as well is you could actually do a Friedel's craft first, and then, or actually you don't even need to do a Friedel's craft. Oh, actually no, you do you do need to do a Friedel's craft first because I need to have a carbon here as well. So Friedel's craft first, and then what we could do is um, uh, uh, we could create a. Um, a halogen group is here as well and then obviously do an SN2 to create alcohol and then oxidize it but this here is the best solution here because I'm going from I only it's only taking two steps right I have uh, it's uh, creating a Cl group that's a para to the uh, the methyl group here and then finally uh, it's, I'm simply oxidizing my uh, create a very strong oxidization react, uh, reagent to saw to oxidize this um, methyl group here into a carboxylic acid number four here d here is asking us i want a hydrogen i want a cyanide group that's kind of isopropyl to the uh on carbon one and then finally a so so three h here as well so what it could do is it can again use a friedel's craft a uh isolation or sorry alkylation to get my um to get an ethyl group at the top here, I can use SO3, so again, a sulfate group or a sulfite group, sorry, and a fuming sulfuric acid to get to my protecting group, SO, S, S, SO, SO3H. Again, this is a very good protecting group as well. Um, and it's going to, again, uh, be, it's going to form a uh, pair to my uh, pair position, obviously. And again, uh, you can use NBS here and uh, ultraviolet light to get, um, to basically brominate, brominate my, um, my, uh, uh, carbon carbon one here and then use uh, either either KCN or HCN to uh, create the cyanide group here so this solution here is also correct um, yeah the solution is correct uh, I need to use MBS here to create uh, a bromine on carbon one here um, I don't think br2 would not work in this uh, you can't use radical halogenation on an aromatic compound you would basically need MBS which is much more selective for the alpha carbon here Finally, number E is a benzene group. I want bromine on uh, carbon uh, one and carbon five here, and then the isopropyl group. So again, if I want to form, I'll, I'm obviously forming the isopropyl group first. So I'm going to do a um, a Friedel's craft uh, acyl alkylation. Sorry, I keep mixing those up. It's an alkylation group. Um, it's isopropyl on carbon one, which is good. I want to now block my uh, para group here. Uh, so I'm going to use, uh, again, nitric acid and fuming sulfuric acid to block uh, block off the para group. So I can brominate. Again, excess bromination would give me uh, a bromine is going to bond on this carbon and this carbon as well. And then finally, to get rid of the protection group, I have to use zinc, or sorry, tin hydrochloric acid, sodium amide and hydrochloric acid, and obviously phosphorus acid here. So uh, this solutions are all, these solutions are all correct. Again, this student... Uh, I believe they uh, probably answered this question almost correctly. They failed to draw the isopropyl group here. That's okay. They blocked it off and they use excess. And they're just forgetting the um, the reagents to take off the protecting group here. Um, so they're very. Uh, this solution is very very close to the uh, to the to the um, to the solution provided. But this is a much more efficient way to solve for this problem here. So the solution is correct. Good analysis here. I like how they drew it kind of step by step here. Uh,